Hi everyone, I'm Steve, here with Brian Sanchez again. Uh, Brian, as you know, is a personal trainer at Fitness for 10. Uh, you can reach out to him there or <clears throat> get a hold of him there. If you want to get a hold of me, you can get me at um, stevemain.com. That's my website, and you can find out more about me. Or if you want to talk to me, you can reach out to me there. Um, no guarantee I'll talk back, but uh, <laughs> you can reach out to me there. So, um, Brian, welcome. <clears throat> Thanks for having me, Steve. So we get this question so many times and we've covered it from so many different angles. But let's talk again because I know you've had clients recently ask again and this is a is something that we've addressed many times on the channel and kind of fr kind of from different angles, but is understanding the rest and recovery. And you're saying, you know, you, you can't go in and just max every day. So let's talk about the importance of understanding how to line up your rest and recovery and what, talk about what some of your clients ask or say or do and uh, when it comes to this topic about resting and what do you tell them? <clears throat> this is a common discussion. As we know, if you're an enthusiast and you want to get in here, and you want to hit the weights, or you want to run a few miles, and you love the gym, it's addictive to us. And we want to be down here all the time because we love doing it. We love the people we train with. We love everything about our gym, right? The problem is a lot of the times we overdo it. And it takes a lot to understand that you have to rest the body. You have a saying, Steve, um, uh, what's it? It's got to be equivalent to the the recovery. Okay, yeah, your your um, intensity level has to match your recovery. Yeah, and, and and I don't think people always appreciate that. And it took me forever to figure it out. You know, uh, we have clients talking about, oh, my knees are killing me. Oh, my my back is killing me. Oh, my my arms are killing me. I had a client today that uh, was trying to max again on a bench press. I wasn't working with them today, and they couldn't get what they wanted to get out of it. And my first question was, why are you even maxing right now? We just did that. And I wasn't rude about it, uh, but I'm just saying, I get what they wanted to do. They were excited about, oh, man, I just crushed it the other day. I'm going to crush it again today. And they went for that same effort. They couldn't get there. Why? There's not enough recovery in that muscle group to go after it again. Not right now. You know, there's an old rule of thumb, and, and I actually follow this. My, my splits are pretty normal in this sense where I hit the group and I don't touch it for another seven days. The, 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 the four to five different splits that I'll do um, is once a week to that actual muscle region that I believe I'm hitting. And that allows me enough uh, rest period so that I am not damaging my muscles, my tendons, my ligaments, and my joints. If I can say anything to anybody out there that they will listen to, please, to my power lifters and my weight lifters, please quit trying to max every time I'm in the gym. It's not good for you. What you want to do is develop a quality training program that maximizes the efficiency of your muscles so that you can get higher maxes a couple of times a year when you test your strength levels. If we design that for you, or you can go to a thousand different locations on the website to find, on any of the websites, if you will, to find how to do that. And what you have to understand about this is real simple. Too much leads to injury. I have a power lifter. She's fantastic. She's a rock star. Um, she was running, doing like double spin classes, coming into leg day with me, and, and just couldn't figure out why 
problems weren't working out well. And as I asked more questions, I'm realizing they're working out three times a day sometimes. And through conversation, we got them to back way off. It took like a year plus to convince them that you're doing too much. Well, guess what? They're a runner too. Guess what's happened to their body? All of their power lifting levels have gone up because they're now experiencing recovery. They're running. The times in the running have increased. Not, I'm not talking about three seconds. I'm talking 20, 30 minutes faster in their distances because they're allowing their muscles to recover. When they're in the one spin class a, a day, a couple days a week, instead of the multiple per day, they're, they're faster, they're stronger, they're more powerful, and things don't hurt like they used to. Why? Rest time off. The gym is incredible. We want you in there, but you have to take breaks. That would be like coming in here and going from machine to machine to machine without resting in between and just bombarding that same muscle group the entire time as fast as we could without letting rest. You're going to last 15 minutes. The body's not designed to handle that. And if you don't practice this like a periodization where we slowly work little groups of your, of your body through the week in smaller amounts. We extend out the number of times we train and we just we change the intensities so that we're not creating what they would call an overtraining syndrome where you have fatigue, you're tired, you can't sleep, your joints hurt, you start to develop uh, you know, muscle issues, stress fractures, tendons are tearing. We create that through periodization to make it safe for you so that you don't have all those issues and you don't develop uh, a body condition that is caused from overtraining. So rest as much as you can, lift as many days as you can, but it's got to be equal. If you rock and roll your muscle group and you're working with me and you maxed out, I'm going to tell you don't touch your chest for another week. That's crazy to some people. Now, if you're doing shows and you're working with a different coach, they're going to change how you're going to do that. If you're a competitive athlete and you're working on it in a certain way, your trainer's going to change how we do that. With me, generally a lot of it's weightlifting stuff, and I control that with my clients so we don't get hurt. But everybody that practices um, proper rest and recovery, works on periodization of their program, um, has a lot of success in that. And they also find out that if the muscle is well rested and you're well fed and you're doing it right, everything comes up, everything gets better, you get stronger. You know, it, wouldn't it be easier if just more was better? I mean, if more was better, more was better, you know, that the person with the most aggressiveness or, or they would win, you know, more is better, but it's not. and. No pain, no gain. Well, sometimes, sometimes you need pain, but not every day. You need to match that recovery time. And it's interesting. And everyone's different. Again, you got to figure that out for you. And you guys hear me say all the time is my age is different. When I was 22, it was way different. What I ate and uh, my training program and my recovery time was way different than it is when I'm 60 and uh, all changes. So it, it's a great topic and hopefully this helps all those people who are trying to figure out how much should I do. This will help them. Anything else to add, Brian? No, if, if you have questions about what would be good rest, shoot us uh, in the comments, shoot us the question, uh, get us an email or something to that effect or store at uh, stevemain.com. Yep. Get us your information. Let us take a look at your program. We'll give you our best uh, guidance on when you should rest, how many days you should take off. You know, This also applies to during your workout. Um, if you're not doing some kind of circuit for the purpose of caloric burn, where you're using your body weight, you do have to rest between sets. Um, obviously, it's different when you're doing lightweight, high repetition than it is if you're doing, um, you know, uh, heavy, heavy power lifting. The waiting periods are different. But you have to wait, first off, so the muscle can recover. 
But you also have to do it so you don't hurt yourself so the muscle can recover. Same thing uh, to uh, your full workout. You've got to recover after that workout. Be nice to your body. Yeah, be smart. All right, well, thanks for your input, Brian. It's always great. Appreciate having you here. Brian's at Fitness for 10 in Carson City. Probably sick of me here or sick of me saying that, but uh, that's where he is. If you have questions or, again, put something in the comment section or go to stevemain.com. And this is our passion. We love helping and trying to figure things out. So thanks for being with us, Brian. Thanks for having me. Take care, everybody.